Okay, round two for this evening. Another one from Dan. I had the same box out that I tested the 7 pot Burgundy out of. And I decided I'm going to do this one. There's going to be one more I'm filming tonight after this. If I'm going to get all, all these done, which I do want to test every one of them. <laughs> um, got to pick up the pace a little bit here. So, I've had yellow bullet habaneros before, which are similar to this, but they do not get this same creamy color, no matter how much I let those ripen last year. They still had like a yellowish color to them, so this is definitely a, a lot truer to white. Okay, we'll split her open and see what's going on inside here. Oh, wow. We have a high seed count for how small they are, which is good. Okay, so, again, I had to edit it a little bit for seed removal. But here we go. Peruvian white habanero. Really cool looking inside. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Got a nice tang. It's not super aromatic. Kind of a fresh... A little bit of a bitter hint to it. Not really sweet, just kind of tangy and faintly bitter. A fresh... What I would have heard described as a lettuce -y. Kind of a... Not a green flavor per se, but vegetable type note to it. It's got a focus of heat just mainly in the throat. Not really much happening in my mouth. I didn't feel a little bit of warmth from it, but mm, it's just hitting right in the center of my throat. It is building though, it's not staying still, it's kind of spreading out slowly here. Mouth is starting to come forward a little bit, that was a, wow that's weird, it just poof, hit all at once in the mouth. A light glow happening on all around the tongue. A little bit on the roof of my mouth. My lips are just starting to out of nowhere. Not strongly, but the throat is picking up a little bit more. It's starting to hurt a little bit. Uh, yeah, focus again right in the middle of my throat. like Right in there. Oh, that wasn't a good idea to do that either. Uh. <clears throat> Yeah, it's not an extreme burn, but it's it's definitely picking up. Yeah, I'd, that's maybe a fifty thousand or some somewhere in that neighborhood cayenne type level, which you don't see from a lot of chinens. Habanero uh, burns though tend to seem hotter in certain respects for their Scoville rating just the way they attach to the different receptors in your tongue and, and mouth. But, right here, still not really much flavor happening as an aftertaste to it. It was pretty mild flavored overall, not bad. Uh, not my favorite, but uh, still pretty decent. Fresh flavor and nice tang. That one would probably make a good flake. Just dry them, just have them and toss them in the dehydrator. Put them in like a pepper grinder maybe. Uh, add some heat and a little bit of habish flavor without it being too sweet. So yeah. Everything in its place and everything's got a use. That was pretty good stuff. The burn is still rocking. This is more like a frutessence burn. It's uh, focusing mainly lower in the throat and that's pretty much the epicenter of the burn is just right there. It's not much happening anywhere else. It is dying down now. Um, 
So yeah, Peruvian white habanero. Thanks, Dan, again, for the awesome new varieties of pods to try. And I'm going to work my way through them day by day. We'll see how my guts handle this as I go into turbo mode with all these super hots. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you again with another.